everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Maria and on my channel I like to do a mixture of nursing and lifestyle videos in this video I'm going to be reading and reacting to one star nursing degree university reviews so those are reviews that first year second year third year fourth year nursing degree students have left from all fields of practice including adult mental health learning disability and pediatrics the main aim of this video isn't to name and shame universities. The main aim isn't to say whether I agree or disagree with the reviews that people have left. The main aim of this video is to basically read the reviews and then give you guys tips and advice and some information centered around some of the reviews that people have left um, online about their particular nursing degree course. Just to provide a bit of background for those of you guys who don't know, I completed a four year undergraduate masters of nursing degree and since then I've been working as a resident nurse. I've also been back to university on like a part time basis to study um, a postgraduate, um, to study a postgraduate module. I was going to say a degree, no, it was simply just a module. Oh yeah, another thing I I want to quickly say is that yes I am still a rested nurse I know I haven't been doing a lot of um, nursing videos and that's because I've been focused on www.nursingpersonalstatement.co.uk and that's the website that I created to give you guys nursing specific academic results I will leave a link in the description box below the videos haven't disappeared I probably just won't be doing them as often as I used to do but I'm sure if you look at my video page now you'll probably see a whole bunch Anyway, so let's start. The first one star review, someone has said course content not field specific. But what you'll find is that at some universities, the first year of that degree is not field specific, meaning that regardless of whether you've chosen adults, pediatrics, learning disability or mental health, in first year, you will all study the first thing. That's what I experienced at my university. The first year of the degree was general and that came with its advantages and its disadvantages. One of the advantages was that some people could switch between the different fields of nursing if they found out that actually I know that I've been accepted onto mental health nursing but most of my placements have been adult and I really like adults so I want to switch over into adult but that really depends on um, if there's enough spaces for people to switch I know at my university at the time there was quite a bit of movement between um, adult nurses and mental health nurses meaning that some adult nurses switched to mental health and some mental health nurses switched to adult nurses but not everybody who wanted to switch was able to switch. So that's one advantage of having a first year that is um, not specific, that is general. However, it did come with disadvantages. For example, I applied and I got accepted onto um, adult nursing. One of my colleagues or one of my classmates applied and got accepted onto mental health nursing. But because we had the first year that was exactly the same, and it also meant that placements were not field specific, at the end of first year, I had in placement sense at the end of first year i had more mental health experience than somebody who actually applied to and got accepted to study mental health she applied to study mental health her first placement was in an adult nurse hospice and her second placement was on an adult um was in an adult elderly ward for me, I applied to and got accepted to study adult nursing, but my first placement was in a hospice and then my second placement was on a mental health ward. So you can see how I had more mental health experience even though I was on the adult branch of the program and how my colleague had less mental health experience even though she was on the mental health branch of a program. So it does come with its advantages and disadvantages, but when you're applying for university, make sure you ask the relevant questions. And this is something that some people may not have thought about. So I guess it's a good thing that you guys are watching videos like this and other videos that I have and other videos that people have put you know, on YouTube. But make sure you ask the relevant questions if you feel like you don't want to go to a university where the first year is generic. But I do want to say that most universities do have a generic first year. I guess it's just one of those things that people like to be made aware of before they actually sign on to the degree that they want to study. The next one star review, unorganized, timetables impossible to follow, stressful, too much work overlapping, theory and placements at the same time, other units more coordinated, placement time and uni time, for example, at this university is brilliant. So, what I wanna say based off of this review, it's unfortunate that, you know, she felt it was really stressful, but a nursing degree is really stressful and I did find it stressful. And I think universities are getting better at um, making 
new or pre-nursery students aware of how stressful it really is like it really is stressful I, I, I can't reiterate that enough it really really is stressful um so what i want to say based of that is that generally universities or nursing degrees will have two main ways of structuring their programs you guys will know i'm hoping you guys know that at this point that at your at university you'll have 50 percent theory and 50 percent um practical Basically meaning 50% of your time, I say 50%, but 50% of your time will be in theory at university and the other 50% of your time will be practical at placement. And how some universities will do it, there are two main ways. Some universities will do it in blocks. So for example, you may have three months straight at placement and then you may have three months at um, university, then three months at placement, then three months at university. However, some universities adopt a different model. They may say, actually, rather than having block placements, it's all going to be integrated. So within a week, you may be at placement two days during a week, and then you may be at university two days during that same week. At my university, it was mostly block. We had three months, roughly three months of placement, three months of theory, three months of placement, three months of theory. But that isn't to say that just because you were at placement, you didn't have essays. There were times when I was at placement and I still had essays, I still had assignments that I needed to submit and there were times when um, I was at placement and I still had the odd day where I still went into university but my university it was blocked and I did find it very beneficial but like I said that isn't to say that it's just three months at placement just three months at uni no it's all still kind of integrated but roughly you'll see that it is a bit separated and what she's saying is that too much work is overlapping and yes it overlaps a lot one thing that I really struggled with at university it wasn't the academic side of it the academic side of it obviously came with challenges but it was okay the main thing that I struggled with was um trying to get organized trying to balance your work-life balance because everything overlapped there were days when you're at placement days where you're at uni it was just trying to organize your time so that's what I found the most stressful and it's clear that this person also experienced the same thing so yeah having theory and placement at the same time that can happen i know that in my final i know that during the final year of my degree like i said at the beginning of this video i did a four year undergraduate nursing degree for sure i can say the for year one year two and year three were block placements however when i did like the master's year of my program the fourth year the final year it was a bit more um integrated however i think I don't want to say it was easier in terms of, you know, managing placement in theory and, you know, university time. I think it's just because obviously I was in fourth year, so my time management skills got better, but also the amount of hours that I had to do in my fourth year in comparison to my first, second and third year was reduced. So it just, it made it a bit easier to um, manage my time. Just bear that in mind, maybe something you want to ask at university are uh, placements and um, theory time is it block or is it integrated but bear in mind that just because it's block doesn't mean that you're going to be at placement for the whole three months and never have any essays no that's not how it works some of you guys are probably thinking what do you prefer because i've kind of expressed a mixture of the two mm, i would probably go for block Bear in mind, when I was at university, it was just me. The biggest responsibility I had was paying my rent on time. But if you have kids, if you have, or oh, if you're a carer, I can imagine maybe you might prefer block placements. I'm really not sure. But if I had to choose, I will choose block placements. If it's something that may be of concern to you, again, make sure you clarify it with the university before applying or before, you know, parting with 9.25K every single year. The next one star review. So far I have done two years on the adult nursing course. I am now starting my third year. The university is only interested in passing you. No support to develop grades ETC. If you pass, that's it. If you fail, well, you're on your own. So yeah, she's on second year of her nursing degree and now she's starting third year and that's been her. His, I don't know why I keep saying her. I guess because nursing is predominantly female. That's, because, that's why I keep saying her but him or her. Um, and I think this will probably apply not just for the nursing degree, but for any degree you do at university. Understand that university is a business. The more students they pass, generally the more money they make. University is a business. And I think when people attach nursing to anything or a lot of things they may think, oh, because it's nursing, not that they're gonna care more for you or that they're gonna 
not be as harsh or as rough with you but this i'm just saying that this could apply to any degree not that i'm trying to downplay this person's experience what they've experienced is what they've experienced and i'm sure thousands of people every year experience this but yeah the university is only interested in passing you because university is a business but that isn't to say that they shouldn't support you now she's not talking about the mental health side of things she's simply just talking about the academic side of things if you pass it if you pass that's it if you fail that's it while you're on your own there's no support to develop your grades and that's one thing that i found with not of shamelessly plug nursingpersstatement.co.uk but one thing that i found is that a lot of students who do use the services at nursingpersonalstatement.co.uk what they're saying is that I failed a 3,000 word essay I only got 27% and the person who's marked it has left me two comments that that is this experience is not a single experience um for me I was okay with I know it sounds really bad but I was okay with accepting crappy feedback at university and I think the reason why I was okay with it is because I know it's one of those things where it's like you've got so many things going on sometimes placement can be really stressful you're trying to balance this you're trying to balance x y and z you know i got this essay i failed it and they only left me like two comments worth of feedback how do you want me to do better do you actually want me to do better if you've left me one or two bits of feedback like i can i can totally sympathize and understand with what this person is saying but like i said because i had so many things going on and because other people have so many things going on it's not really at the forefront of their mind um, what I can say, utilize people who are, who are around you if you do have, you know, good friends or good, not good friends, but people can, who can help you. I know during year one, two and three of my nursing degree, there was one girl that I was pretty close with and she was always getting firsts in all of her essays. So every time, no, I don't want to say every time I failed because I only failed once or twice, but every time I failed or got a grade that I didn't really like, I would always ask her, can you read over my essay or can I read your essay and see what grade you got and use that to, um, use that to get better so yeah what i would say based off this comment is try and have like a strong network and i'm not saying be friends with your whole cohort and be best friends with like 50 different people but just kind of know who you can go to for um essay help and advice beyond your lecturers and your course people because let's face it um sometimes they don't have the bandwidth I don't want to say sometimes they don't care because I'm sure they do generally care but sometimes they don't have the bandwidth and the mental energy or time to give you the support that you really need and I'm not saying it's good no it's not good one thing that I found really helpful at my university they had like a writing center they also had a math center and I found the writing center to be invaluable honestly my confidence and the stress levels um, completely changed when it came to writing essays once i visited the writing center and the writing center wasn't owned or wasn't managed by the nursing faculty it was just a writing center basically where phd students alumni and really really smart students they basically ran it and just said regardless of what course you study regardless of what degree you study at this university if you need help with your writing just come to us and we'll give you a hand and yeah they really helped so resources like that may really help you i have a work colleague or an ex-work colleague she's topping up her diploma from she's topping up her nursing diploma to a degree and she was saying that she's really struggling in terms of lecturers supervisors all of that stuff not giving her the support that she initially thought they were gonna give her and what i've told her is basically the same thing what i've told you guys is basically the same thing that i've told her which is utilize your network around you nursingpersonalstatement.co.uk if you want me to read over your essays i can definitely do that obviously it comes with a fee um yeah utilizing the people around you and writing feedback feedback like this universities do read this in my year i believe it was like this video is long-winded but i just want to give it make it as detailed as possible but in my university while i was at university on my degree between i'm not sure if it was year one or year two but there was a massive massive uproar about the level of support and a massive uproar about the level of feedback and the quality of feedback that people were getting on their essay and the university had to intervene the nursing degree or the nursing degree leaders and programs had to intervene and they came up with a solution where basically what they did was say this is who you go to for this type of help this is the way you go to for this type of help it didn't solve everyone's problems but it was a step further so yeah 
nursingpersonstatement.co.uk for more academic support, for nursing specific academic support. Utilising the people around you, it could be a housemate who's always getting firsts. Just because you've passed your essay doesn't mean you shouldn't still ask for help, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. And three, leaving feedback at your university. When they submit module evaluations at the end of every module, put your true feelings in there. If enough people utilize that, the university or that nursing department is forced to do something. Again, their actions may not completely solve um, your problems or the problems that have been identified from that module evaluation, but it is a step in the right direction. This one is also one star, they're all one stars. Nothing to like, the staff are unprofessional and the teachers don't even know what they're doing. When you go to placement, the books are very difficult to understand for mentors and the staff are not supportive at all. So let's break this down. You will definitely see, I don't need to tell you, for those when you guys, when you start your nursing degree or whatever degree, you will definitely be able to tell between the nurses who have had or between the lecturers who have had a rich nursing career and the ones who haven't had a rich nursing career like the last time you actually did like a nursing shift was like 50 odd years ago you'll definitely get that she says when you go to placement the books are very difficult to understand so what this person means by book what they basically mean by book is portfolio so as part of your nursing degree whether you're adult pediatric learning disability or mental health you will have a portfolio your portfolio might be a physical portfolio that you have to get signed or it might be a virtual online portfolio that you have to get signed in that portfolio it's going to be split into year one year two year three it's going to be split into a whole bunch of competencies that you need to meet that you need to achieve areas for development there'll be bits where you can log in different meetings at my university every placement you attended you had to have an initial interview with your mentor you had to have a mid interview with your mentor which was halfway between the length of your placement so at my university the placements were roughly like two to three months long and then you also had to have a final interview and everything had to be documented in that portfolio you had to document something for every meeting you had and your mentor also had to document um, something for every meeting you had on top of competencies and that stuff and what this person is saying is that the books the portfolios are very difficult for the mentors to understand and yes i completely get it there are so many reasons why it's difficult for mentors to understand one reason is because different universities have different portfolio layouts and I'm sure some of you guys who may already be out in practice, who may have already started your nursing degree, you'll know that actually, even though this this hospital was located here, not only did they take nursing students from my school, they also took nursing students from this uni and nursing students from this uni and they all have a different layout of their book, of their portfolio. So imagine like a registered nurse trying to remember this uni does it this way this uni has their portfolio this way and this uni has their portfolio this way so i guess that's one reason another reason is because mentors simply aren't given it enough time to look after student nurses you know looking after student nurses isn't their main priority it's going to be looking after the patients and making sure that they're safe just the way that the portfolios are set out the portfolios are not set out like you know user-friendly websites like instagram or facebook like you give instagram to a five-year-old most five-year-olds are going to roughly know how to operate it the portfolios are not like that you really do have to listen to the webinars that tell you how to teach it and like i said some nursing mentors simply do not have the time for it to the point where i remember i think it was second or third year of my nursing degree i literally spent about an hour explaining to my mentor how to access the online portfolio and how to actually input information in terms of meetings that we had my areas of development how to sign up my competencies so yeah her struggle is definitely real like i said at my university it was online which was very beneficial because it meant all you needed was internet connection and you could access it so that was the advantages of that i couldn't really think of any disadvantages everything was online internet connection is all you need you could be on a train and be adding to your portfolio and then some people i know in 2021 some people are still some nursing schools still have paper portfolios and i even know some nursing schools master students have it online but then degree students have it on paper doesn't make sense so that even adds to the confusion and the difficulty and the misunderstanding of filling out your portfolio it's one star review students that do nursing are asked to do full-time work hours yes okay let me read it in full before i comment so students that do nursing are asked to do full-time work hours without pay on top on top of degree level assignments we go through quite an intensive course compared to other courses there is no effective measures to protect our mental health 
is facts. When you're doing a nursing degree at university, you are, during placement times, you're working full time with no pay. Yes, you have degree level assignments. It's a lot, like I said earlier in the video, it is a very intensive course. Don't let anybody ever tell you that nursing isn't an intensive course. Don't let anyone, and I think sometimes when the, where was I? I think I was in London somewhere. I'm always in London. <laughs> but yeah, I think I was in London somewhere and I saw a banner and it said, are you compassionate? Are you, comp are you kind? Do you want a career in nursing? And I'm like, this is misleading people. Yes, are you compassionate? Are you kind? But are you resilient? Are you well organized? How do you manage stress? These are the questions that we need to be asking people. These are the topics that we need to be talking about you know right at the start of your nursing degree even at the point of application these are the points that we need to be talking about there is no effective measures put to protect our mental health i, I really don't i really don't know what to say i really don't want, i really don't know what to say to that that i i i sympathize with where this person's coming from i can see where they're coming from and a lot of the one star reviews were based around mental health and no support when it comes to working as a resident nurse i can definitely say hand on heart i can see that some trusts are making an active effort to um provide mental health services for not just nurses but for everybody within the healthcare and um, field within the healthcare industry because nursing is very stressful think about the pandemic that we are in it is traumatic having access to um mental health services is literally the difference between someone coming back to work the next day is literally the difference between someone calling in sick it's literally the difference between someone saying actually i don't want to be a nurse anymore i'm going to move off into a, um, a different career um yeah it is very intensive effective there are no effective measures to protect our mental health there are not enough effective measures to protect our mental health and it doesn't just go for nurses it also goes for members of the general population mental health services are not where then where it needs to be okay this is the last one star review that i'm going to read if you do want me to do another video like this where i read one star nursing degree reviews i can definitely do that there are plenty of them and i think i'm going to do one um reading five star nursing degree reviews i feel like that would be a more fun light-hearted video so this person says my expectations were high for this course but i've been very disappointed by the lack of organization support and communication between the uni and placement support and communication between the uni and the placement areas is poor often leaving students having to organize their own experiences yeah again that's definitely a thing and i think it's so important for me to do videos like this because i want to give people like an honest overview and an honest representation of what nursing and what being a nursing student and what actually working as a registered nurse involves i feel like a lot of maybe i might have played a role in kind of giving a skewed view i don't know but videos like this are important anyway at my university a lot of people dropped out around the christmas new year's period simply because we had about three months at university and then all of a sudden we were at placement and some people didn't know how to act as support or for some people support simply wasn't there the jump between being at university full time and then going to placement are two very different things and some people need more support than others you may find that communication between the uni and the placement is very poor sometimes you know students go into placement and the managers are like, oh my gosh i had no idea i was getting a student nurse or oh my gosh i had no idea i was getting a first year this placement area isn't suited to first year and really that isn't got anything to do with you that really is to do between like this person said the communication between the uni and the placement so there we have it one star nursing degree reviews i hope you guys found this video informative and insightful um if you want to see more videos like this make sure you give this video a thumbs up also make sure you visit www.nursingpersonalstatement.co.uk for nursing specific academic support and i'll see you guys in my next video bye